Hello, I just got done with the gym. Wanted to make a quick video on diabetes and just not to not to to heavily heavily beat it right now, but just to give a, an overview of what I could potentially cover in the long run. Um, we have two different types of diabetes: type one diabetes and type two diabetes. And type one diabetes is when a diabetic doesn't produce insulin, so their sugar levels get out of control, and it's hard to manage that um, without injecting insulin. And then we have type 2 diabetics that are resistant to the insulin that they produce. And they may produce plenty of insulin, but their body's not able to utilize what they're producing. So a lot of times we're injecting insulin on top of insulin when we're not really looking at the root problem, uh, being able to make ourselves insulin sensitive instead of resistant. Um, type 2 diabetics can benefit from a ketogenic diet because it allows you to keep your blood sugar pretty stable um, on a low carbohydrate diet because... Um, it's uh, oftentimes diabetics don't gauge the amount of carbohydrates or they don't want to gauge the amount of carbohydrates they're eating so they don't know exactly how much insulin to inject so they either over inject or they don't inject enough and it becomes a guessing game uh, simplified lifestyle is key learning to stay away from a lot of processed foods uh, refined carbohydrates and sugar is key this leaves your blood sugar substantially lower without a reaction that you have to fight for to figure out exactly how much insulin to inject each time. Um, so type 2 diabetics uh, get a lot of su success from following a ketogenic protocol. A lot of people say, well, uh, aren't you um, worried about ketoacidosis? Uh, ketoacidosis is simply high blood sugar for extended periods of time and high ketones. If you manage your blood sugar uh, with learning how to engage from a uh, low carbohydrate diet, which is substantially easier, almost no guessing at all when it comes to uh, ketogenics, because now you have a range, a much easier range to stick with. It's a very um, whole food based diet that's easy to engage, it's easy to um, keep yourself in a healthy state and not let those blood sugars get high so you don't have to worry about ketoacidosis. Type 1 diabetics. Um, you know, they can spiral out of control at any given time with the amount of uh, carbohydrates they eat because they're not producing insulin at all. As we're te type 2 diabetics, they're just resi re resistant to it. Type 1 di diabetics aren't producing it. It's like uh, pancreatic insufficiency, basically. Um, they're not producing the insulin to even do anything, so you have to inject insulin. So a ketogenic diet works better with type 1 diabetes because uh, you're leaving yourself in a really good strict range. You can either be a strict keto person and say, I'm not allowing myself more than 20 carbohydrates per day, which I can set up a diet plan that's very easy ahead of time uh, for my child, for me, for you know whatever reason it would be, and I know exactly how much insulin I may have to inject depending on my body's uh, reaction to this. And if you get good enough at it and you're using the same type of carbohydrates and you keep yourself to the same type of foods over and over again, it almost takes the guesswork out of it completely. You're often going to hear people say that uh, keto is not good for diabetics because blood sugar can spiral out of control. And if you have high ketones and high blood sugar, then you can put yourself in a ketoacidosis state. Well, the good thing about being on a ketogenic diet is you don't really have to worry about your blood sugar substantially spiraling out of control like you will on any other diet. You're not eating fructose. You're not eating refined carbs. You're not eating refined processed sugars and stuff like that. You're eating whole food. And it's very wholesome, good, hearty whole food. So when you wrap your mind around what type of lifestyle you want to live, wouldn't you want to set yourself up for better success by following a ketogenic protocol, living a long, healthy life, giving your brain the substantial, uh, the primary fuel that it was meant to run off of anyway, and eating a, a, a meal pattern lifestyle uh, and following a longevity uh, pattern of, of setting yourself up for the best success, especially as a parent um, trying to engage your child's diet uh, why would you not set yourself up for better success and learn how this works? Make the counting and the tracking easier on yourself. There's a doctor. He's a, one of the best doctors I've ever seen. Um, his name is Dr. Bernstein. He has a uh, type 1 diabetic protocol. And there's a group exclusively on Facebook that follows his procedures, and they are very good. I mean, the, the whole families are on there. They all talk. They network. They, 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 they manage with each other every single day. Uh, and they're phenomenal in what they do. They really stay on top of the game when it comes to um, uh, type 1 diabetes. And there are, there are a plethora of information. I mean, some of the best people that you're ever going to get information from. If you haven't bought Dr. Bernstein's book on type 1 diabetes, please check it out. Amazon usually has some really good deals. And if you haven't checked out the Facebook group, Type 1 Grit, T-Y-P-E, O-N-E-G-R-I-T. 
Type 1 Grit on Facebook. Go in, go to your search box, type Type 1 Grit in there, and they're going to pop up. You might have to answer a few questions, answer the questions the best that you can, and um, pull into the group, ask your questions. They're very, very receptive. It's a family-oriented group, and they're, they're the, I mean, doctors look at their group for information because that's how good they are. They may not be the biggest group out there, but they are substantially ahead of the game when it comes to any other keto group, any other diabetic group. They really know their stuff. And uh, people are starting to look to them for information because there's so many type 1 diabetics where the children are on there, the parents are on there, I mean their loved ones and stuff are on there. If you have type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes, you're not doing yourself any service by not following a low carb ketogenic diet, high fat, moderate protein, low carb. That's where it's at. It's the easiest to manage your blood sugar on that. It's the easiest to engage your health from a uh, pancreatic insufficiency standpoint if you're a uh, type 1 diabetic. If you're type 2 diabetic, uh, you definitely it's definitely a way for you to help yourself become more insulin sensitive so you can actually start utilizing the nutrients that's in the cell. If you have any questions, drop your questions in a link below. If you want me to find the type 1 group link and post it, actually I'll do that anyway. I'll post their link in the description box under this video on the right side above the bell which when you watch this video you're going to go ahead and click subscribe and you're going to hit the little bell and then above that there's a little drop down box and i'm going to put my link for my patreon my facebook my private facebook groups and stuff inside that and i'm going to put type 1 grits link in there you're going to find so much information from them and if you if you really 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 want help you will check out that group um, I'm 100% convinced of the last 15 years of me doing this and traveling publicly, speaking now at libraries and stuff like that and going into people's homes privately, showing them how to cook and doing what I do for free. I charge nothing. I, I, I'm blessed in my life. God has been good to me. I'm a Christian. I know some of you don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. Um, so I do what I do for free. If people donate to my pa Patreon, if people give a few extra dollars here and there to help support me, that's fine, but if not, I still am blessed, and it, it makes no difference. My journey still continues to educate and empower people as much as I possibly can. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting me. God bless, and have a great night.